Yes, I know you want to leave. All the men in the house do this. The only girl in the house, and we can never be ready. We're at the Winter Garden Farmer's Market this morning. First time being here since we moved here. And it is just awesome. We have this awesome produce. Fruit plant. This is Copper's first time at the farmer's market and he is doing so good. He's so happy. He loves all the people. And you can't go to downtown Winter Garden, the farmer's market, without stopping at the best coffee place in town Axum Coffee. So yummy. So that's where we're headed now. Houston, what did you get to drink at Axum Coffee? I got us. Well. The, um, coconut mixed flat. Yeah. Italian soda. And if you go inside, it's the cutest little coffee shop. It's really busy today. <laughs> market or market finds where we found some salsa and some fish dip to try so we got two kinds of salsa ones in the fridge already this one is called hold on let me show you the lid uh trace amigo salsa apparently they also have a little restaurant in town that we want to try and then we got some fish dip it had a some smoked um yeah, so from Captain Joe's, it's smoked yellowfin tuna dip. Mm. He said this is the most popular fish dip, so we're going to try that. Mm. Houston, what do you think of the salsa? Really good. You want to try the salsa? This is really good. It's good. I like it. Nice and smoky. Yeah, it's not insanely hot, though. They said that's medium. Houston, what do you think of the fish dip? Smoky. I wouldn't say it's medium, though. You'd say more mild? I'd say it's mild. Good. I really like it. It's, you know it's fresh. Well, that's it's, really good. And so I'm, this is all like fresh tuna. Like fresh. I, I say I don't like fish, but yet we're smoking fish tonight and I'm eating a fish dip. So yeah. I mean, so I guess I sort of like it, but I'm just insanely picky. I'm very picky about it. That's really good. Is it good? It's not fishy. Mm. Yeah, like I said, it's, it has a good smokiness. It's, one thing I like about it, it's fresh. It yeah, doesn't taste like, really it doesn't taste like uh, something you get from the store. So yeah, the store or something. It has a really good fresh taste to it. That'd be really good on like tacos. But I wouldn't say it's a medium though. I'd say it's a mild. I yeah. don't, I, I get, I get zero heat yeah, out of it. Yeah, it says, Oh, it doesn't say on here what kind of heat it is. It is a smoky. He said it was medium heat. I would go more mild. I don't really get much heat, but super good flavor. Oh, and, and you can tell that since he's eating it, then it must be really good because he's he's pickier than I am when it comes yeah, to fish. He said all their fish that or all their fish that they have is like fresh, fresh oh, fish. I am so picky with this. Yeah, I'm gonna actually have one I more. I say, but I like something mm. right there. And That's really good. Go to the tired hound cam. He did so good today. 
he's very sketchy around people sometimes, so we were very afraid to take him anywhere or something. Like but he's a lot of people and a lot of dogs. dogs. But he um he was great around the dogs. He never barked once. Didn't bark one time. He did so good. People came up and petted him and he was perfectly fine. Yeah, and he got lots of attention today. But he's tired from it. Yeah, and he'll probably do that for the next hour or so, I bet. Yeah. That's his spot so on the Winter couch. Garden Farmers Market, highly, highly recommend if you're down in the Central Florida area. It's big, pet friendly, so much stuff. They had beautiful orchids that were so pretty. We so many good things that I want to try next time we go down there. Um, so, so maybe we next weekend we'll go down there. Yeah, again. maybe next weekend. I heard there's a really nice Farmers Market in Winter Park, though, that we would like to try. Wow, Houston. There's just so much to do and so much to see. I repeat, this kid doesn't eat fish and he's eating this, so that says a lot. Oh, 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 next time we'll have to buy two. Well, we, we didn't know if we'd like it, though, because yeah. once again, we have one person in the house that I loves. I like it. She'll do canned fish and all this stuff, which I absolutely find disgusting. He's insanely picky about it, like even mild fish that I cook on there, and I, I'm sort of a good in-between. And the fact that we're all three eating that says something. Yeah, it's so. delicious. Highly, highly suggest. So we're gonna get some snacks. Our TV scan finally came, so I think we're gonna put Yay. that together today. So, so we'll it's been. So yeah, so this. We've ordered two, no, this is our third time attempting to order a TV stand. Both times, after a week or two, they canceled on us and saying they couldn't ship it. They actually had one to come through and we had six weeks of a couch, rug, and that. So it's awesome we can finally get something there. So after our third try, we finally have one. So we're very excited to get that together. So we're gonna put that together, and then I think this will be of our kitchen. Every kitchen comes with a cat with a hound. Right down the street, and I think we're gonna go try and hit some golf balls this afternoon. So what do you think of the? So yes on the dips and the salsa. Yeah. Yep. Two thumbs up. Do you give thumbs up? Uh huh. Two thumbs I up. I think that this dip is better than that salsa, so it's, I'm extremely picky. <laughs> yeah. all right. I say two thumbs up on all of it. Cool. Is the cabinets. Well, really even our rug. I'm really disappointed. It said, I'm... well, it said 10 minutes and it was more like 12. So, <laughs> I don't know. I think we should get our money back. Yeah. <laughs> and then it matches the cabinets. Sorry for the messy kitchen, but it matches, matches the cabinets like perfect. Our whole house is messy. Right? And then even our rug. Yeah, it's clean about once a week. Even Copper enjoys it. He's out. He says, I had a big walk today and I'm so tired. Oh, are you so tired? Yeah. yeah. Or fox sound. <laughs> and it matches that. It's all coming together. Now we just have to find something to put on top of it so it doesn't look so plain. But yeah. Now we got to clean up our mess. All right. So this afternoon we're at Orange County National Golf Course at the driving range and we're gonna hit some golf balls. We've never been here before. Apparently it's one of the like nation's largest um, like putting place where you hit your golf balls. Driving range, that's the name of it. And it is huge. We didn't realize that when we got here, we parked way over there. This building here is where you have to go pay for it. No, I lied. This building here, and then you have to walk all the way around. Lots of people have golf carts, that's smart of them. We did not. All the way around here, and then it's huge. You can see all these golfers. It's really pretty though. But this is one of the things when we moved down here that we really wanted to um, practice and do more because it's a really fun thing we can do as a family and Florida has lots of beautiful golf courses so we're here to practice today. Here's Houston and Davey getting Houston's getting some lessons. Let's 
see how he does. Well, miss. There you go. Good job, Houston. Let's see, here goes Davy. He's way better. It's been a couple of years though since we golfed. Good job, Houston. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's like in the 80s today. So pretty. Definitely loving the weather. All right, now it's time for me to go hit some golf balls. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't really see through this little camera, especially glary. <laughs> there you go. That was a good hit. That was one of your best hits. Yeah, that was fine. That was one of your best hits. Yes, good job. Just got done golfing. Houston, did you have fun? Yeah. Was it hard? Huh? It's kind of frustrating, huh? When you're not that good at it. But it's, it's pretty. It's really flat, but really green. Looks like they have a short hole here that you could do. A little nine hole course. It'd be fun for us to try. Now we're walking back to our car. So, uh, hi, we're back from the putting lane. We got no, back not. actually quite a while ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it went five hours magically in two minutes. <laughs> we got back about 4.30, probably. Mm -hmm. And then we had dinner and got all cleaned up, played some board games. We're just getting ready for bed. How was golf? Good. Is it frustrating? Yes. Yeah. yeah golf, golf stinks sometimes. Yeah. It always stinks. <laughs> Starts out fun, and then you get tired, and then it gets frustrating. Except for you, because you're so good. I, I'm terrible. If y'all <laughs> saw him hit the golf thing, yeah, he's terrible. As Houston and I struggle even just to hit the ball. And then we played... What game did we play? Skip Bow. Skip Bow. Who won? Mom. She I won. And then... He's been tired ever since his little... <laughs> Ever since his walk today. He hasn't stopped. Top of the day out of the camera. He right, says I slept. All right, what's your highlight of the day? Yeah, what was your favorite thing you did today? Probably going to the farmer's market. With copper? Mm-hmm. I think I would agree. The farmer's market was probably the highlight of my day, too. With copper. He did so good. We didn't know how well he would do because he's... Usually he's the type he, of dog who sees a person. Him. Yeah, he sees a person or he sees a dog and he... Immediately, his first reaction is bulk. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But he didn't do, he did it in the car on our way there. If he would see people or dogs, he would bark. But as soon as we parked and went down there, he did so surprisingly so, well. Yeah, surprisingly so, so well. We were so proud of him. It makes me want to take him every Saturday because he did so good. So that was probably the highlight of my day, too. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed the golfing. I mean, it showed how terribly out of shape I am and how, sure. <laughs> and how I need a lot more practice. Lots. But at the same time, the farmer's market for the fact I love the copper was scary on the way there because we went, like they reiterated, it's just um, we drove down the street and copper was barking at dogs, was growling, did all this other stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have to turn around and go back home. We're kidding, go out and do this. And we got him out of the car, he walked by people and people petted him, he walked by dogs, he was wonderful. And Kids he pet him, usually he's <clears throat> so timid too. Yeah, and something you wouldn't even have thought for even one second that he was like that. So that was really cool to see. So, yeah. and then getting the fish dip and our salsa and doing yeah, all that stuff. So that was my big one. thing, cause it's- That fish dip is almost gone. Yeah, There's I love. Hardly any left. I love this dog, but at the same time, he's unpredictable when stuff goes like that. And the fact that we went out there, and you would have thought, like all the people that came up to him, would you would have thought he was a perfectly trained dog that's been around that and done his whole life. And the fact that he was 
really, really good was very surprising. And yeah. that just, that, that was very, I admit, that made me very happy. Yeah, so just seeing too. him. So know that we could go out in public and just take him. It sounds... Yeah. We're dismissing our little beagle. So yeah, the, and they had a beagle at the farmer's market. I think we saw two beagles. Yeah, there was two beagles. And, but. and every time I'd have to go up and say, oh, we have a beagle at home that we miss. <laughs> yeah. <if laughs> that anybody, reminds us of our beagle. If you Disney. don't know, we have two hounds. We only, my mom came up here, was nice to bring Houston, nice. Houston's dog. Yeah, this is Houston's mm -hmm. dog, Copper. And then he, because he really missed him. And my mom, but at the same time, two dogs was just too much for her to bring up lunch on a plane flight from Idaho, so... So I, we got our older dog. That's me, more mine and Shan's dog, and we just uh, we yeah, miss her. Disney. Yeah, our, our little Disney girl. She's six years old, a beagle, and so it's one of those like. We'll have to hear her soon, though. I hope so. I, yeah. I really miss mm -hmm. her. So it's um so. And then I, we could take her to the farmer's market too. She'll be great. She's awesome yeah. at that stuff. But him, on the other hand. Knowing that he does good is a huge surprise. And that, like I said, that alone, just knowing that we can go in public and he's good at that, made my day. He was yeah. wonderful. Mm -hmm. so, so one thing I realized about Kapo, if it's just a single person walking, not big cloud levels, Kapo will bolt more. If there's big cloud levels, Kapo is perfectly fine. Yeah. It's actually is stalking. Yeah. Yeah. So the, today was a fun day and... Um, our plans, as of right now, is we're gonna do Volcano Bay tomorrow and doing Costco because our, we actually um, we bought we bought our Universal passes be, uh, when Volcano Bay wasn't open, so we had the we got we had the two park pass, but it was a really good deal, so we went and just bought it even before we left uh, Idaho. And then when we got down here, finally Volcano Bay opened. We went down there, we added the we paid the extra amount, whatever they prorated it, and. We got the Volcano Bay Pass, and we did it for last weekend. We were only there for, what, three hours, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. That was a big maybe if we are even there for that long. So we, so to our, my hope is tomorrow to go down there and actually spend, and actually spend some good time down there and try to hit all the slides. And she wasn't able to do the, the what was the slide called to you? It's the one with the one that you love so much? It, it was, uh, uh, I can't remember, but it was the... It, it basically had all these dips and turns. Well, it's like a roller coaster, coaster slide. Yeah, it shoots you guys mm -hmm. up or something. Yeah. It's like a tube ride. Mm -hmm. Pretty much it's the roller coaster water slide, and I can't remember what it's called, but it. we're going to do that again. I want to do the drop slide again and make her go on it. I did it last time. I know, but make you do the other one. Hurt she hated neck. it. <laughs> Hurt my that, neck. That one, Houston loved it. That one, the thing about those drop slides is when you go in, it's... As like it just no like usually when you think it it's gonna end here it, oh oh it looks like you're at the top no it just go oh oh okay <laughs> we, we should be doing some nope and then you just some keep lady going said it was like going three hundred and some steps and we weren't even at the top yet it's huge it was really fun though yeah I, that we'll was talk actually about it more tomorrow that was actually one of my favorites yeah, yeah we'll so but we'll do it tomorrow so that's our hope we're gonna go try to do a big day. Try to at least do four or five hours Volcano Bay, do Costco, head home, and try to get hunt back home with this dog. So that's our plan tomorrow. That will be our adventure for tomorrow. Right? Mm -hmm. Then Monday, we get to go back to work and school. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. So fun. All right. But fun weekend. So that's our adventure today. Our adventure tomorrow will hopefully be Volcano Bay, weather permitting. Huh. Mm -hmm. So... That's all we have to say. Do you have anything else to say? Nope. Nope. We're good. So come good. back for more and watch. We have a hound dog who is ready for bed. Clearly. He's <laughs> ready right. for bed. All right. We'll see you guys later. All right. Bye. Bye.